Hi everybody, Keeper Maggie here again, welcoming you to another Bright Zoo Keeper Chat. Today we're going to talk to you guys about the Adax. Now the Adax antelope, or is also known as the screw horn antelope, because if you take a look at their horns, they have a nice little spiral to them. Now both males and females have those horns, and they can be anywhere between about 20 to 40 inches long. Typically your males are going to have a little bit longer set of horns just because they're prone to fighting more than the females But the females do still have them in order to protect themselves and their offspring from predators Now their screw horns uh, don't actually start to get a nice turn until they're about a year to a year and a half old So if you take a look at our babies over there, they're only about six or eight months old Their horns are actually completely straight when they get a little bit older They'll start to slope and get that first curl and can have anywhere between about one to three curls as they grow up now the Adax antelope lives in herds and they can live anywhere between about 5 to 20 individuals in their herd and that herd is run by a dominant female. Generally that dominant female is going to be the oldest one and in our case it's actually going to be this lovely lady right here in front of us. She is our oldest female and she's the easiest to pick out because she's only got one horn. Now she runs the entire herd, everyone listens to what she says, until a younger female comes along as it gets a little bit older and takes over that position when she's too old to run the entire herd. Now she'll let that other female know when her time is to retire and that younger girl will take over and then she'll be the dominant female because she'll be the oldest. Now that doesn't necessarily mean her daughter is going to be the next to run in line, it'll just go up depending on age. Now as the herd continues, anyone going younger and younger will be lower in the ranking order until you get to the youngest one and they're the bottom of the totem pole. Now the Adax is a desert dwelling antelope. They live in the Sahara deserts of Africa and they actually like it nice and warm so the winter time is not their favorite time but they get a slight difference in their coloration when they get to the winter times. You'll notice they're starting to get a brown color to them. That's to help absorb the sunlight when it gets a little bit cooler so that way they can keep their body temperatures nice and warm throughout the colder months. Now during the summertime, they are completely white everywhere that you see brown and of course all on their legs and their faces will stay a little bit darker but not too much. But they'll be completely white during the summer when it's very hot and toasty out to keep their bodies actually much cooler. And that lighter color reflects the sunlight and doesn't allow them to get too hot and overheated. Now generally the Adax is going to be most active actually during the evening. They tend to be more of a nocturnal antelope because it's a little bit cooler walking around in the desert at nighttime than it is during the day. During the day what they'll do is actually dig down into the ground in the sand and get a nice little cool spot. They'll lay actually very huddled, uh, excuse me, spread out across the sand in separate areas so that way they produce not too much body heat huddling together. But at nighttime when they do lay down together they'll actually bunch up together to keep their bodies nice and warm pretty interesting about the Adax because they are being a desert dwelling antelope don't tend to need a lot of water. As long as they have a constant food source these guys actually do not need a body of water to drink from. So as long as they're con uh, consistently browsing and grazing on the grasses and the different plants they actually do not we don't have to provide a water source or these guys don't actually have to find a water source out in the desert. They get all the nutrients that uh, moisture that they would need from their food sources so they don't have to go constantly moving around from area to area to find a water source. Typically the Adax species is not very much a migratory animal where most other antelopes tend to go around in different areas. The Adax are going to kind of stick to one natural habitat area and they'll feed off of that as much as they possibly can, grazing down the grasses, then moving slightly a little bit away from that area to let that grass area grow up and graze down another area. They tend not to wander too far from their territory. Generally the males are going to protect that territory though so that way they entice a lot of females even though it's not the males that are running the whole herd. Now the Adax antelope have very interesting hooves. If you take a look down at their feet a little bit you'll notice that their hooves kind of splay out. And they're very similar to kind of snowshoes where instead of walking on the snow these guys are going to be walking on the tops of the sand. So their hooves kind of splay out in order that they can walk on the tops of the sand without sinking and having to exert that extra energy in order to lift their feet up and out of the sand. It allows them to walk much smoother and much easier across the tops of the sand. The Adax antelope is a critically endangered antelope, which means there's not too many of these animals left out in the wild. So it's very important for zoos to do a lot of conservation with the uh, Adax antelope in, shorter, in order to ensure that their numbers increase up out in the wild. 